Amin Agamalamat waves to the audience. Hello, friends. Hi, Max. You're exploring robot. Today, we're going on an exciting adventure to learn about the water cycle. Are you ready? Let's zoom into the world of water. As you know, our planet has lots of water in oceans, rivers, and lakes. But did you know that water can travel? Yes, it goes on a journey called the water cycle. Let's break it down. First up, evaporation. When the sun warms up the water, it turns into vapor and rises up into the sky. It's like when you see steam rising from a hot cup of tea. That's evaporation. Next, we have condensation. As water vapor goes up, it cools down and turns back into tiny water droplets, forming clouds. Imagine your bathroom mirror fogging up after a hot shower. That's condensation at work. Now it's time for precipitation. When the clouds get heavy with water, it falls back to earth as rain, snow, or hail. This is how water returns to rivers, lakes, and oceans, and even to us as drinking water. Lastly, collection. After water falls back to earth, it collects in oceans, rivers, and lakes, and some of it even goes into the ground. And then the cycle starts all over again. And that, my friends, is the water cycle. It's how water moves around our planet, making life possible for all of us. Isn't it amazing? I hope you enjoyed learning about the water cycle with me today. Remember, water is precious, so let's use it wisely. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep learning, and always be curious. Goodbye for now.